Hey, how's it going? This is Dylan with Dylan Pickups Blog. So today we're going to talk about phase, what that means, um, and how we can use it. Is it a problem? Is it a good thing? And we'll discuss that, so stay tuned. Okay, so pickup phase is a, a thing that you hear all the time. We hear in phase, out of phase, and we know when we hook up a pickup backwards uh, that the out of phase sound is sometimes not something that we really like. Well, what causes it? So we have, right here we have a uh, Stratocaster pickup. This is the easiest way to illustrate it. We have a black and a white wire coming out of the back, right? And if you plug in your neck pickup uh, with the black going to the ground and the white going uh, to the output, and then you take your bridge pickup and you flip them, they'll be out of phase, right? And it gives you that real quacky, almost really super weak, thin sound, okay? So, and a lot of times that's not a desirable thing. So let's talk about what causes that, okay? We're gonna go to our trusty whiteboard. What does out of phase actually mean? Here we have our AC voltage which is what our pickup is making, okay? And it this is our sine wave. Now we're gonna say for, it doesn't really look like this in the guitar, it kinda looks all squiggly, and especially if you have an overdrive pedal and all that kinda stuff, it doesn't look like a perfect sine wave, but just for purposes of illustration. So here it is, it goes up and then it goes down, okay? So this is, well we'll call this our neck pickup. And then we'll take a bridge pickup over here, and we will go the other way and say it's out of phase, right? Now in a perfect world what would happen is if this was out of phase it would go up and it would go down like that and these would actually cancel each other out and there would be no sound, believe it or not. The thing about it though is that since your bridge pickup, and we'll discuss how sound works in another blog and why your bridge pickup sounds different than your neck pickup, but just for the shortness of the conversation right now uh, let's say this is your neck pickup. Your bridge pickup is going to be uh, your bridge pickup is going to be a lot narrower because it's a higher frequency, right? It's going to look more like that because it's closer to the uh, it's closer to the bridge. Now, so let's say we have this, but it's out of phase. What would happen? So we go down and we go up. We go down and we go up. Okay, so our that was what that's what it would look like on top of each other. Now, remembering that everything that's opposite to each other cancels itself out. What would cancel itself out? So basically, everything except maybe this area from here to about here because those are pretty similar and. Maybe you would hear some of this over here because they're kind of close together. It just depends in the real world. But basically, all you would hear is mm, that signal and that signal, that part of that. All this other stuff would be canceled out. Now, that is exactly why when you put a pickup out of phase, you only hear the part of the signal. Now, like I said, <coughs> a perfect note, it would completely cancel itself out totally and you wouldn't hear anything. But because we can't hear exactly the perfect note because one's a bridge pickup and one's a neck pickup, neck pickup, you hear that. So what causes that? We know what it causes that in the, in the whole grand scheme of the AC voltage part because they're out of phase and they're canceling each other out and you really only get to hear. So we're gonna draw this one more time up here and we're gonna draw uh, a higher frequency here, okay? So only the parts that are really kind of close together are gonna, are, gonna, are gonna be out of phase, or in phase. This part, you probably won't hear hardly at all. You'll probably only hear parts of over here and that's that quacky sound. So. When we take our pickup and we're just going to draw a uh, very sp very simple single coil pickup and we've got our two wires coming out. 
Um, actually, we're going to do it the way I do it. South up, north down. There are many pickup manufacturers that actually do this. They, they have the magnet facing up, uh, south facing up, and the north polarity facing down. And in mine, I wind mine counterclockwise. So my wires are counterclockwise. So that Stratocaster pickup you just saw was south magnet facing up, north magnet facing down, and counterclockwise wound. So the wire goes around it counterclockwise. If the next pickup that you hook up to your guitar is not the same polarity and with the magnet facing the correct direction and the wind exactly the same, your pickup will be out of phase causing this. Okay? So, what does that mean? That means that you have to make sure that you wire it right when you put it in. Now, here's the key to that. If you order pickups from the same manufacturer, it's usually not a problem. But let's take, for instance, my single coil pickups and Fender single coil pickups. Okay, Some Fender single coil pickups. They actually have the north facing up and the south facing down. It's correctable by flipping the wires. right? But it's just something that you have to run into and you have to take care of. Otherwise, you're going to run into that out of phase sound. But the takeaway for today is, the reason it happens is because the frequencies get canceled out because they're out of phase, not the whole frequency because of the location of the pickup. That gives you that quacky kind of funny sound, okay? And you like that sometimes. There's certain, you know, we can think of certain artists that use that. Now, remember that the magnet has to be orient, oriented the same way and the wind of the pickup, the direction, has to be the same way in two pickups for them to be in phase. And remember also that when you buy a pickup from two different manufacturers that you'll have to check on this to make sure that you wire it up correctly. And honestly, sometimes the easiest way is to just leave the wires hanging out, go test it, and if it sounds like it's out of phase with the pickup in the middle, the pickup selector in the middle, then just flip the wires on one of them and you should be okay. Don't flip both, but flip just one. So I hope this was helpful to you. Just a brief, quick and dirty explanation of phasing. Like I said, reverse wound, ver reverse polarity brings a whole nother thing into it and we will discuss that at a future time. And we will also discuss how phasing affects a humbucker pickup because that is also related to that reverse wound, reverse polarity situation. I hope you found this helpful. Please follow our blog. If you have any questions, if you want to add to our blog, if you have a question that you want us to add to the list, please let us know and uh, we'll see you next time.